Yes, Come yay! On. Oh, 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 oh. Are we going to break the rule of a lifetime? Let's hug it out. Oh Come my on. gosh. Oh, oh you look gorgeous. Oh, it's so lovely. I'm allowed to Hi. Where do I sit? You sit, sit wherever down. you like. Oh, gosh, it's lovely. And I say break the moment, the habit of a lifetime, because the, all the years we sat next to each other, we never touched, no, did we? I, I, not even like a little finger there, not even an accident. It was, super it was like an yeah. electric shock. Yeah, it was. Oh, How are you doing? It's lovely to see you. No, it's really, and it's an absolute pleasure and very emotional to be here. And I know lots of people watching will be very, very sad that you're leaving because you have touched the hearts of the nation over the last six years. I know people have loved watching you. Um, I loved working with you and you, Sal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, but, you know, I just... I know you didn't remember the first day we met. <laughs> I'll explain to everybody at home. Go on. So we were, we, I was asked to interview Dan Walker, you know, this fabulous journalist, sports presenter, uh, by our now boss, he wasn't our boss at the time, for the RTS. And I went and did a, this in-depth interview with Dan. Is this true? He, he just didn't remember because you... I, had... well, I'd, I'd um, snap my Achilles. Oh, OK. But I'd come back to work because I, I needed to. And I was on these really high strength paint Right, so. okay, so that's what he says. <laughs> anyway, so our relationship started really well in that he didn't what even did remember me. What did you say on those really strong uh, we, paint We recovered and we, we went on to have many years of enjoying each <laughs> exactly. other's company. So when, so when I when I knew that he was going to come and uh, sit next to me on the BBC Breakfast Sofa, I was delighted. And um, I mean, we just had such fun times and I remember them all so fondly and you just, the thing for me, you know, you know what it's like, Sally, sitting here and there's an awful lot of you watching and there's quite a lot of pressure that comes with that. And Dan, you know, is sitting next to you and he is never going to let you down, always going to support you. And remember, you look doing it now. <laughs> there were many moments when I was really nervous. And what I love about you, it's when things are really, really going wrong and we're <laughs> doing something that is kind of out there. That's when you're kind of at your best and you just look me in the eye and you go, you got this. And that's what I love about you. And you see that from the film that we've just seen and all those relationships you've built over the last many years is that you do a beautiful thing. You give people confidence. And that is a real gift, Dan. It really is a gift for which I'm hugely thankful. Did he never give you the giggles? That's the Did he ever with give those. me the giggles? Oh, my gosh. There were so many times, so many ridiculous things. You know, and we'd have to be super serious sometimes. But, yes, absolutely. I think we've got some of the giggles um, coming. I mean, the strongman thing, for mm. example. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> but, you know, I... you're just sitting there and then you just... You just go completely off script, and the strong one, I hope we can see that, those pictures again. That was utterly, brilliantly, Dan, ridiculous. Fine. Stay there, Thanks. don't go anywhere. I'm not allowed to talk. Cool. Hang okay, on. Right. You are no longer in charge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay? Just listen to this next bit, because some of the best bits, I think, over the last few years mm. of your broadcasting career have been when you've been out on the road. Mm -hmm. okay. You've travelled the world, haven't you? You've met some incredible people. Yeah. Do you remember you went to Rio for the Olympics? I do, yeah. Do you? Do you yeah. remember? That was a really special time, wasn't it? One of my favourite times. You had a great time on the beach. Dan made friends, as he does everywhere he goes. He made friends with one very special person. Let's just take a look at the highlights from his trip to Rio. Here we go. We're not sure how many of you are still there because there's so much live athletics.